Hey y'all, it's Jada and thank you for tuning in to my very first DIY tutorial video. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I absolutely love, 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 love me a good two-piece, you know, Chanel vintage suit. And I promise before I die, before my last breath on earth, I will have an original in my closet. But before I even, you know, get to that point in my life, I gotta try and make one for myself, you know? So, in this video, I'll be showing y'all how to make a Chanel-inspired two-piece set. So, let's get started. For this video, you will need measuring tape, pins, thread, scissors, a fabric marker or chalk, sewing machine, blazer, and a 10-inch zipper. Before we start anything, we need to get a few measurements together for the jacket. The blazer will be cropped, but you need to figure out where exactly you want it to fall. So take your measuring tape and measure from your shoulder to your underbust or wherever you would like the jacket to stop. For me, I prefer underbust because I'm not really working with a lot of fabric and I don't mind showing off some stomach. So anyways, take your chalk and mark on the jacket the measurement you just took, but make sure you add an extra inch. Now continue the line around the rest of the jacket until you get to the other end. The fabric that's left at the bottom will be all you have available to make your skirt so make sure you measure before you cut it because you don't want to be out here showing too much. I mean unless you do that's up to you and that's none of my business. But if you're cool with the length take your scissors and a cut along your line. So try and keep your lines as straight as possible. As you can see, well, as it starts to turn to the back, you'll kind of see like my lines are a little crooked, <laughs> but I want y'all to be better than me. So straight lines only. Once I finish cutting, you'll be able to get a better view of the jacket. So this is what we have. This will be the jacket. And then this here will be our soon to be skirt. So as you can see, the look is coming along. Now it's time to create our skirt pattern. You'll need to lay the fabric on a flat surface and fold the fabric in half. One end should be open which represents the front side of the jacket. This is where you will put the back pieces of your skirt pattern. And the other end should be on the fold. As you can see this is the side of the fabric that's closest to the camera. This is where you will put your front skirt pattern piece. For the next part, we're going to have to do a little bit of math. So get your measuring tape and take your waist, hip, and upper thigh measurement. Divide those numbers by four and write those down. Since our skirt will have darts, you know, so we can suck in the waist a little bit, you know, be snatched. We'll need to add 1.5 inches to the waist measurement only. Here's an example of where your waist, hip, and thigh measurement would lay. Now that we have all those numbers, we're going to create our front pattern piece. So on the folded side, mark the waist measurement at the top, the thigh measurement at the bottom, and then mark the hip measurement 9 inches down from the waistline. We can now add our seam allowance, so take your chalk and mark half an inch seam allowance along the side of our original mark lines. Now we can connect the dots, but make sure when you're doing this that you curve the hips just a little bit. Finally, 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 we have reached the end of creating our skirt pattern. Now we just have to make our darts. So we will need to make four marks to create each of our darts. Mark one will be three inches from the centerfold. Mark two will be 3.75 inches from the centerfold or three and three fourths. Mark three will be four and a half inches from the centerfold. And mark four will be four to five inches below mark two. You should ha now have something that looks like a triangle. Now you just need to connect the dots and your first start is completed. Get your scissors out now and cut out your first skirt piece. And we're going to use the same piece so we don't have to go through that whole process again to create our back skirt piece pattern. So just pick that up, flip it on the opposite side, and then lay it on top of our remaining fabric. So if you can, try and make sure that the whole skirt pattern is fit onto your remaining piece of fabric and then just pin everything down. 
the only difference between our front pattern piece and our back pattern piece is we'll need to add half an inch seam allowance to the back side for the zipper so just go ahead take your chalk and mark half an inch away from our back skirt pattern piece now our last skirt pattern piece is ready to be cut so if you need to add any more print pins to do that and grab your scissors and cut out the last piece okay our skirt pattern is finally done y'all i know that took way too long but hey on the bright side y'all will never ever ever in your lives have to buy another fitted skirt again you don't need to because now you know how to make them from scratch so hey it don't matter if it's long short whatever you know you got the formula to do it yourself but now we can move on to copying that same process of marking the darts on the skirt to the other half of the front skirt pattern piece and the two back skirt pattern pieces the only difference between the back darts and the front darts will be that the back darts are an inch longer and you're going to nudge mark one two three and four over a half an inch away from the center back because of the seam allowance we added for the zipper Okay y'all, so I have a really bad habit of stopping between every single step and just putting my piece on the mannequin just so I could get an idea of how it's turning out. <laughs> but this is basically what we have so far with our darts and them pinned on the mannequin. So sewing darts are really simple. With the right side spacing together, you are going to take one of the darts and fold the skirt fabric in half and line up mark one and three, then pin it together. Then go down to mark four and add another pin. We are going to sew using the pins as a guide, sewing from the top pin to the bottom pin, sort of at an angle. When you finish your seam, the dart should look like half a triangle. Then repeat this step to... This is what the skirt looks like with all the darts sewn and the front pattern piece and one back pattern piece sewn together. To sew the other side seam, what we're going to do is take our remaining back pattern piece and line it up with the front skirt pattern piece, then pin it together. Make sure you are lining up the hip or the curved side of both pattern pieces. Once you have it all pinned up, then you can sew the side seam at half an inch seam allowance. And again, I am back with another progress shot. You know, like I said, I love looking at my progress, but this is what the skirt looks like with all the darts sewn and the side seam sewn together. There was no specific number that I used or measurement that I used to create the jacket darts. I really just tried to do something that would make the jacket more snug since this is a men's blazer overall the this jacket is going to be very big it's going to fit very big so you just kind of want to mimic the same type of dart the same size dart and do two at the back and two at the front and just keep them very uniform and just get it to where it fits the body more and of course when you sew them you're going to sew them the same way that we did the darts on the skirt and then also something that i didn't mention make sure you tie the ends of the dart once you finish creating that seam to get the best finished look we're going to turn the ends of the jacket in and what i mean when i say that is we're going to take about two to three inches of both ends of the jacket and turn in the front fabric and the lining fabric about half an inch and then pin it together that way when we fold our lapel over it looks seamless like this to finish off the hem we're just going to fold over the remaining raw edges of the jacket and sew at half an inch seam allowance We're going to repeat that same step to the top and bottom edges of the skirt but before you hem the skirt make sure you clean up the edges first by taking your scissors and trimming the edges neatly then you can pin and sew at half an inch seam allowance unfortunately my camera ran out of space during the recording so i couldn't get the entire zipper process recorded so it will be a little chopped up 
first we are going to take the zipper and line up both edges along the center back of the skirt and pin the zipper in place. After pinning, you can then sew in both sides of the zipper, but make sure you stay as close as possible to the zipper teeth, then zip up the zipper once it's done to make sure it's sewn in right. As you can see, my zipper was a little too long, but with the remaining fabric left under the zipper, pin the two layers together and sew a half an inch seam allowance. Since my zipper is long, I am going to sew over the end of the zipper, the part that's not being used, and then I'm going to take my scissors and cut that off because it is no longer needed. Now flip the skirt inside out and voila you are finished it is all done congratulations everything is ready now i can iron out my skirt iron out my jacket and get it on the mannequin for you so now it's time for me to try it on thank you for tuning in and i'm sorry the end of the video feels so rich rushed but i have more videos coming soon bye <laughs>